Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Boy Ronnie coming back with another video today. We're going to be taking a look at Judon Williams. Before we get into this, guys, this guy DM'd me, told me to take a look at his videos. So I'm going to take a look at him, see how he does, check him out. You know, running back, cornerback for Center Mariches, you know. Take a look at his senior highlights, see how he does, see how he plays, you know. And yeah, but guys, remember to like, subscribe, comment down below. You guys are showing a lot of support and check out the podcast. It's going to be coming up, coming out really soon. I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay. Nice job. He does. It makes a nice truck. You know, I'm not going to talk about that a lot. You know, it's not like. Okay. I just need to make sure it's like good with my computer. Okay. Let's see what he does in the return game. Okay. Nice job. He cuts inside. You know, makes a nice move. Does a nice job. Doesn't give up on the play right there. It's very, very physical. It seems like he drives his speed a lot. He just drives, drives, drives. You know, nice job getting outside. Does a good job right there. Oh, whoops. Wrong way. Hmm. Yeah, you take a look right here. You know, keeps his feet going. You know, right here isn't the good play right here. Like, you see what he, you know, kind of got off both of his feet right here to try and get over him. I would have said try and stay low. And I get it. He's trying to take you down. But trying to go over him right here. You know, he has full advantage. He has his feet on the ground so he could easily take you down. And that's what he did. If you would have stayed on your feet and stayed and just kept on driving them right through them, you know, you definitely would have gotten a little bit more yardage out of it. But it was a nice play right there. Okay, wildcat formation. So he does. Shabby gets outside, makes a nice cut. You know, does an okay job, you know. Definitely I wouldn't say that this is what you should be doing. You know, you know, this is not and I'll say this for anybody, you know, never take the ball and do this, lift it up and try and get it over a guy. Because, you know, if a guy lifts his arm up just a little bit, taps it, you know, the ball is going to come out. And it's just not going to be making a good play right there. Okay, let's see what he does. You know, it's a... Uh, uh, oh, okay. I thought he was the one that tried to get it. Picks it up, you know, terrible bounce. Gets a nice return on it right there. Six ar sticks his arm out. What I'm going to say is, like, you know, I don't know if he got tackled or not. I don't know what happened. Right here, I would have cut in. Yeah, I know. He was making a good play right there. Let's see what he does. Cuts in. You know, does a nice job. Drives his feet on this play, you know. You know, keeps keeps his feet moving right there. He's driving and driving and driving his feet, you know. That's what you got to do. Do not like this. Take a look. He jumps to return it, you know. I get it. You know, you feel like you got to do that. You don't have to. But uh, also right here, you see, he kind of like almost runs into this guy. I would have tried to get outside, get in the middle more. Because it does seem like they have like a lot of open space right here in the middle. You know, it seemed like there was a huge amount of space in the middle right there. He was able to get a, he's able to get a huge gain on this. You know, very shifty in a manner sometimes. You know, didn't really get to the ball. Like, I, I don't know, like, why he didn't, like, just sprint up to it. Like, I get it. His teammate was there and he was in the way. Let's see what he does here. Okay. Nice job. He's able to get through right there. Nice job. Breaks off the tackle. Stays inbound. Gets, the, gets into the end zone right there. That's a nice job right there. That's a nice job with his abilities, you know. Could have tried to. Actually, no, because getting outside right here wasn't. And a possibility, but he does get outside on that side right there, which is a good play and gets in the end zone right there. That's a nice job. And see, so gets that, you know, nice job. Sees comes off his um, receiver's backside. You know, receiver could have did a lot better job. You know, sticking with him a little bit. You know, but does and follows him on the backside, able to get upfield right there and makes a nice play. Let's see right here. You know, it seems like, you know, get catches it. You know, try cuts outside right there. You know, he had he had, he had a slight hole right here. You know, he would have if they would have got in. If he wouldn't have pushed him into there, you know, he could have had that hole right there. Gets outside, you know, and gets a nice gain. You know, lowers his shoulder to try and make a tackle right there. Nice job. He's able to cut inside right here. You know, 
sees, tries to cut outside. This guy's being pushed outside. You know, notices that, cuts inside, and gets, you know, a nice gain out of it. Nice job. He's able to stay on his feet. You know, guy grabs his ankle right here. You know, most guys, they normally would trip right here. Oh, wait, no, it was this guy. He normally would, normally would trip. Stayed on his feet right there. That's a good job right there, being good on his feet, staying balanced. Okay, gets outside. Makes a nice cut right there. Got, um, what I am going to say is, like, right here, it does seem like instead of, you know, juking him, I would say try and lower your shoulder. Like, I get it, you tried to. You know, but he didn't get lower, low enough where, like, it wasn't really working. You know, he was able to hit him, make a nice hit on him. Okay, drives his feet, does a nice job right here. You know, you take a look, you know, cuts outside. You know, actually, no, he should have gotten there a lot sooner. Makes a nice play, you know. Let's see. Does a nice job, you know. You know, I feel like he could have gotten, like, right here. You know, I get it. He didn't really make the tackle. I would have put my shoulder down just to, like, you know, knock him off a little bit more. He does, like, slow you down a little bit right there. But, no, he does, he's, he does a good job, you know. Definitely would have need a lot of help up front, you know, and guys that could understand blocking. Gets outside right here, you know. Sees right here. Uh, sees that everybody's pushing them, pushing them that way. Comes off their backs. You know, receiver gets up there. And he's able to get in the end zone right there. That's a good job. Okay. Definitely. You know, makes a nice job right there. You know, gets like not a lot of help. Where'd he hit him? It, it just doesn't look like, you know, he, he got lightly like, you know, he lost his balance right here. Throw forward, though, which is a nice job. Oh, they run a two-quarterback set. That's why. Does a nice job. You know, stays with his feet right here. You know, you see, makes contact at the seven, it looks like. Guys try and get him. You know, he pushed... That's a nice job. He forces his way in the end zone right there. That's a good job by him. Let's see what he does. Oh, okay. Receiving wise. Does a nice job. You know, he's able to get out, you know. Not the hardest route in the world. Could have gotten like a few steps up forward when he was going this way. Almost tripped. Able to get open right there, you see, and able to get in the end zone. You know, it's a nice little um wide receiver. Um, out screen. It's like a short screen. It's not a screen, but it's like a. It's kind of like similar to him in a way. Nice job. He's able to get outside. Gets a huge gain. Sticks a hand out, you know. Right here, you know. But what I would say is right. Ball's in this hand. Switch it to the other hand. Because. You want it to be on the um, bound uh, boundary side when you're running with it. Just in case it comes out, it rolls out of bounds instead of rolling and staying in play. And because you take a look, you see he he stiff-armed him with, you know, his other arm. And it wasn't as good. Should have had the ball in, like, the other hand. And it would have been a little bit better, I would say. You know, making sure the ball's in your right in the... Um, uh, the ball's bound side. Uh, yeah, bound, bound side. You know, like, I get it, like, when you're doing this, you know, but when you're, like, you know, uh, he, do he does that a lot. You know, let's, I didn't notice that until that play, but that's something, you know, if he's playing in college, you know, keep the... Yeah, right here, you see, right here he's doing it, you know, keeps the ball on that side, you know, bound side, you know, does a good job on that play right there, keeps the ball bound side, I guess he, I guess it was just that one play. Yeah, right here he had to cut back, you know, this isn't, I'm not going to say anything, you know, it wasn't, the design was to go this way, so he did do the right thing. 
stays on his feet, stays in bound, which is a great job. Very uh, um, acrobatic, I would say. It's not the right word, but no, I'm just you know, an idiot. No. Oh, right here. No. You take a look. This, he makes a huge mistake. You see right here. Has it. And it's on this side. It needs to be on this side, it seems like. I got, it might be because he favors one side over the other when he runs. You know, but he needs to have the ball on the other side the entire way, just in case. You know, he does switch it halfway through. But needs to keep it on bound side instead of just one side can't really see it here yeah you see right here he has it on opposite side i get it like but you went up the middle you should have tried to switch it outside right there you know keeps it you gotta keep the ball boundary side because it's super important like right here you know he was supposed to run that way does a nice job I would say, you know, he switched it before where he switched arms. I'd say try and keep it on the boundary side. Like, I know it's difficult to switch when you're running, but keep the ball on, uh, on the bound side because if you fumble it. That's, like, the only flaw that I'm seeing really with his game is his bound. Keep having the ball on the bound side. Like, you know, here, you know, but that's the side that he likes to keep it on a lot. You know, gets a nice gain. Drives his feet a lot. You know, that's... He has all these good qualities for a running back, you know, but, you know, one thing is just, you know, he can't, you know, you see, I get it. He runs up the middle right here, but, and if he, but I'd say like, I'd say switch the ball. Like you're coming on this side, you know, guy comes from one side and tries to hit you and he switches it at the end to reach forward. But what he needs to do if he's going to play in college is keep the ball on bound side I unless unless when you have time because it seems like he has enough time to be able to just switch it over real quick when he has like a decent amount of space you know it doesn't seem like he's doing that because you know it's you know something huge that could impact a game is if he fumbles the ball I'd rather coaches would say if you're fumbling it and you're running you know they'd rather it go out of bounds than it actually be left in bounds because the other team could just easily reco uh, recover it and get the turnover. But if you have it on the op opposite side, it'll go out of bounds. You'll ha still maintain possession with it. And that's really the only major flaw that I see is just him not having the ball on the right side. You know, seems like he actually favors one side, uh, carrying the ball on one side more than another, which, you know, teams would see and attack and realize if they go after the ball on that side and push him to the side where it's not hold him him not he's not holding it right it's not going to be as his effectiveness and his ability to hold him to the ball is not going to be as well as you see but yeah he's definitely a solid athlete so guys remember to like subscribe comment down below and check out the podcast peace